Our first Boss Game Mini PC review. How exciting. And with a brand name like that, we're off to a good start. The M4 Neo is an all plastic box with decent build quality, which looks fine, apart from that red power button. The M4 Neo features AMD's Ryzen 7840HS, a nice bang for buck CPU with 8 cores, 16 threads, and Radeon 780M graphics. Port selection is pretty interesting with four USB ports on the front. Two of them USB 3 10 gigabit and two USB C, with the left one being 10 gigabit and supporting display out, while the second one is USB 4 40 gigabit. Both ports support USB C power delivery and display, although it would have been nice if one of them was on the back. There's also a 3.5mm audio jack. What I didn't notice during the unboxing is that there's an Oculink port on the right side. A nice bonus. There's also Intel Wi-Fi 60 AX210 for wireless and Bluetooth. On the back are two Realtek 2.5 gigabit LAN jacks, HDMI 2.0, DisplayPort and dual USB 2. Boss Games Mini comes with a VESA mount, HDMI cable and compact 19 volt 120 watt power supply. Pricing is impressive for what you get. 440 US dollars for the 32 gigabyte RAM, 1 terabyte SSD model. And I found it on Amazon.com for $10 less. To open the M4 Neo, you need to remove four screws underneath. Pull on the rubber connected to the lid, and then we have another three screws to remove from the SSD and RAM cooler, which is nothing fancy. It's just plastic with a small fan. There's also half a thermal pad connected to it. This mini PC has two 2280 M.2 PCIe Gen 4 X4 slots for storage with one occupied by the Kingston Gen 4 NVMe drive. Crucial DDR5 5600 RAM is included. Windows 11 Pro is installed on the SSD and scanning the OS with malware bytes for malware and rootkits didn't pick anything up. Don't want to use Windows? No problem. Ubuntu works fine on the M4 Neo when I tested it off a USB. Alright, we're off to a good start. Let's check out the benchmarks. Single core Cinebench is fine with the M4 Neo reaching a score it should be getting, and it does well in the multi-core CPU test, beating the Ace Magic's AM18 result. Another good score in Geekbench single core, but in multi-core it matches the AM18 and doesn't take the lead like it did with Cinebench. Still, it's on the upper end of the chart. H.264 video encoding on the CPU side shows the boss game M4 Neo matching the Ace Magic AM18 once again. But in the much longer AV1 test, the M4 Neo drops down the chart with the AM18 coming out ahead. AV1 VCE GPU encoding is also less impressive than the Ace Magic AM18. The boss game performs almost identically to the H255 mini PC in Geekbench AI, which makes sense since that's a refresh of this CPU. It also takes the top spot in the AI GPU test for the quantized result, but doesn't do so well in half precision. 3 Mark's DX11 graphics benchmark has the M4 Neo sitting amongst the minis with Radeon 780M graphics. No real movement in TimeSpy DX12, but it does score slightly worse in Steel Nomad Lite than the other minis with the same iGPU. We've done a lot of testing of the Radeon 780M across multiple mini PCs, and it's an integrated graphics chip that does well with esports games. For your glory. Heal up, squad. You can also play a lot of AAA games at 1080p low natively. Although more and more titles being released are too much to handle, it might need upscaling to hit 30 FPS, if they even manage that. You can emulate many systems on the CPU without any problems. Even the demanding games will hit their original target frame rates at higher resolutions than they did on the original console. For more graphics performance, you can add an external GPU via USB 4 or Oculink. The high bandwidth of Oculink makes a big difference in the majority of cases, as you can see here with a side-by-side -side comparison. Every mini PC is tested with latency mod and Cinebench running in the background to see how the mini handles audio latency 
for those looking to use it for audio work. And the boss game M4 Neo passes the test. AMD's Ryzen 7840HS performance is excellent for Photoshop, being the highest benchmark so far and even beating out Intel's Core Ultra 9 to 85H. It's not as impressive in Adobe Premiere, falling behind the Ryzen H255 Mini and substantially behind the 285H. Boss game includes a Kingston Gen 4 NVMe drive, which scored well in the 3D Mark storage benchmark. Cooling wise, it's below average, with the drive hitting 63C. The controller temperature isn't shown by this drive, but it's going to be much higher. That being said, it didn't thermal throttle during my testing. Bluetooth range is below average, but not terrible at 4.3 meters or just over 14 feet. I didn't have any wireless problems at 12 meters or 39 feet from the router using the 5G band. So that's good news for those planning to use it wirelessly. Idle power draw is good at 9 watts and below the AM18's result. Maximum power draw of 106 watts is similar to other Ryzen CPUs around this tier. CPU temp holds up well. It stayed under 90C during all the testing. Idle fan noise is higher than most mini PCs, but the bigger problem is the load fan noise out of the box. Not because it's super loud, it's actually below average, but because of the annoying whiny pitch. The high pitch noise comes through the mesh on top of the mini PC. If you're sensitive to fan noise like I am, the default fan mode will be a deal breaker. There are plenty of louder minis that irritated me much less, and this is a clear case of the DBA figure not telling the full story. That being said, I did try the quiet fan mode, which lowers CPU performance a bit in exchange for dropping RPMs, and the wine disappeared under load, and it's so much better. Boss Games M4 Neo is around the usual mini PC size, and overall, slightly below average in total volume. Mashing the delete key on startup will get you into the BIOS. In advance, there's a bunch of options you might be interested in. I tried the power limit switch to performance and didn't get better results in the benchmarks. You can also set the amount of VRAM here. Hardware monitor has three fan modes to choose from with balance being the default. As I mentioned earlier, I'd be using quiet. All right, so that's the boss game M4 Neo. It comes with an attractive price, performs well, has Oculink and USB 4. Both USB-C ports support power delivery and display. However, it has a whiny fan, which is most noticeable under load. Personally, I'd gladly sacrifice some performance not to hear it. And so for that, the quiet mode comes in handy. Also, Bluetooth range could be better. Overall, little to complain about and pretty impressive for the dollars. If a fan with high-pitched noise doesn't bother you, or you're willing to stick to the quiet fan profile, the Boss Game M4 Neo is a good choice. And before you go, would you like more gaming performance in a mini PC without the need for an external GPU? Then check out the review of the AU Star Gods, which features a discrete graphics card right here. Cheers!